Welcome to Yuko's Everyday Gourmet. Today you and I are going to make chicken tajin. Tajin is a Moroccan or Northern African uh, dish. Uh, it's a simmering dish, but in, um, it's not nothing um, difficult on pot chicken stew, okay? And uh, with a lot of spice. So you will need like coriander, smoked paprika, turmeric, I'm gonna write the recipe um, below, uh, so don't worry, okay? And cinnamon sticks, bay leaves, ginger, um, onion, garlic, a little bit of um, um, olive oil, olives, okay, and tomatoes. <coughs> One of a preserved lemon. Parsley, um, Korean, uh, the uh, cilantro, and chicken. Chicken thigh is really good too. <clears throat> I don't recommend using chicken breast; it will get um, dried out. Okay. So first, we want to season, and and the both uh, preserved the lemon and the uh, olives are salty. So. Um, Although I already rinsed them and drain, still salty. So I'm I'm what I'm gonna watch uh, the salt, right? But first, you're gonna uh, you and I are going to slice onion to a quarter inch thickness, half onion, smash three cloves of garlic. And we're going to kind of rough chop. Okay, and next ginger. Like this much, right? With your finger, right? Okay, just curl your finger like that. Just going to um, seed it, okay? And I will kind of quarter it. So traditionally, this dish is made with uh, the tagine, the, the pot. It's almost like a chimney, okay? But um, I am using Dutch oven for this. And you can use um, nice, like a um, tall, little bit tall um, saute pan as well, as long as you have a lid, right? Quarter it. Okay, we're almost done. For the prepping and next chop preserved lemon the Dutch oven I'm heating up uh, extra virgin olive oil two tablespoon okay and I already uh, seasoned dry seasoned the meat and then I go ahead to uh, add some brown black pepper as well So we're going to brown this chicken. So about eight to ten minutes. You want to brown chicken all the way through. And oil is flashing, so please be careful when you do it at home, right? So we're going to remove this chicken aside. I turn it aside for a second. And we're going to saute vegetables. And you're going to add cinnamon and bay leaves. And chop preserved lemon. And we're going to add 
half a cup of water and we want to scrape down all bits and pieces collected on the bottom bottom of the pan and olives We want to cover it and lower the temp uh, the stove heat to a medium and we're gonna cook about uh, 45 minutes to an hour right okay so while chicken is simmering away we are going to um, braise this dry plume okay uh, we I have three quarter cups of water okay and we're going to boil and reduce with this liquid so two tablespoons of honey of your choice quarter teaspoon of honey okay so the plume reduced to really nicely okay we're going to drizzle this <clears throat> reduced liquid over tajin later right so we are going to reserve this <clears throat> it smells incredible the cinnamon oops sorry all right meanwhile we're going to make couscous first we're going to chop um, cilantro and parsley for uh, tagine and couscous, the garnish. So this is one bunch of uh, cilantro, half or the three quarter bunch of parsley. about I'll say half a cup so you want to kind of chop just it my um, sliced almond So in the saucepan, I am <clears throat> boiling one cup of low sodium chicken broth and we are going to add one cup of couscous, okay? Couscous is ba uh, basically um, really finely chopped pasta. So as soon as the liquid is boiling, just want to turn off your heat. Dump your couscous and apricot, dried apricot, and put the lid on. And wait about, I would say, five minutes. Okay. So it's just, it's gonna just. It took only five minutes. Okay. It's gonna drizzle like. Tablespoon and a half, tablespoon and a half of extra virgin olive oil. Parsley. And some 
comment. See, the couscous is not mushy at all. That's because I add the equal amount of couscous and water, okay? Chicken is so incredibly tender. So we're going to add our greens, cilantro and, and parsley. And I already um, checked my seasoning and I did not need to add any salt at all because all the salt came from um, lemon, preserved lemon and olives. Look at this. This incredible sauce. And then Oh my god, chicken is so tender. It's been <clears throat> simmering for an hour. Wow. I'm gonna eat it with <clears throat> bloom. It's so flavorful. You can taste like of cinnamon, ginger, and and preserved lemon. I so really you can make gourmet food simple at home. So I I hope you will enjoy this recipe and it will work out for you, right? Uh, thank you for watching, and then I want to see you next time. Thank you. Bye bye.